two, two people wrote in with pretty much the same question. So Paul and Ivan were just asking this. Paul is struggling at the moment getting um, his kids to actually get bats and ball and get their timing right. Um, so yeah, he wants to know how to get their timing right apart from placing 200 balls a week. Um, and then Ivan um, was saying, saying the same thing. He's been using uh, Murray's lesson on leading with the head video very nicely and it's working a treat. Um, and he, he just wants to know if there's any tips um, with, with helping with timing of shots. Okay, so there's a couple of things just to remember. Nine times out of 10, when a batter gets out, it's because he's not actually watching the ball correctly. Um, and when I say correctly, we see it, the batter sees the ball out the hand and then they play the shot without actually watching the ball all the way onto the bat. So you see it leave the hand and you think it's a cover drive and you just play the shot and kind of see where the ball is landing as opposed to watching it with two eyes all the way onto the middle of the bat. Um, and, and when you're doing that, you tend to play out in front of yourself and play a little bit early and your timing isn't always 100%. So you might middle one or two and then you miss time one, but it's just because you're actually not watching the ball 100%. So my first thing advice would be to, to go and have a look at the fundamentals and do the visual skills um, games. And there's a whole lot of them and there's, there's thousands of things out there that you can do just to help their visual schools to get them to watch the ball. Um, we're going to be releasing a couple of uh, uh, lessons. In fact, there's actually there's a, there's a written lesson in, in, in the in the stage one um, at the moment on um, watching the ball. Um, and there's some really good little games there. And this is this is what I would get get you to or encourage you to do with your kids. And the one game is you have say three different colored balls and throw all three at at your kid. And tell and pick a color and say catch the red ball and they must go through and they must catch the red ball. It helps them focus in on the correct ball, okay, and gets them to actually watch that ball. Um, something else, and it's it's re it's a really good thing to do before you actually go out and bat is a uh, is 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 to get your eyes working. So give them a ball, get them to keep their head still, and then move the ball, you know, across like that. So they're actually watching the ball, but get them to focus on a spot on the ball as opposed to just watching the whole ball. So they actually focus in on the ball. Get it away, bring it in, move it across. Just gets the eyes following the ball. And really good little drill and good eye exercise. Um, and then, so that's obviously good little visual skills going that gets them to actually watch the ball correctly, focusing on, on the ball. So they're watching it all the way as opposed to seeing it and then just playing a shot. But a really good game. Um, I'm going to get up and show you kind of how to do it, yeah, but we'll, we will be releasing a video on it um, in the next couple of weeks is you want to give yourself a bit of space, maybe 10, 15 meters, get a soft ball, tennis ball. Um, you can get the kid to pad up or just have their gloves if it's a soft ball, it's not the end of the world, and just lob the ball at them, okay? And they've got to step to the ball, but remember leading with their head first. So they're watching the ball, they're in their stance, batting stance, like they're ready to face the bowler, okay? And, and you throwing the ball, they've got to lead with the head, go to the ball, adjust to wherever it is, and catch the ball next, next to their front leg. Okay, so and mix the ball up. Don't just throw it straight. You want them to be moving and getting into a good position. Number one, it gets them moving. It gets their heads out to the ball, but they have to catch the ball next to their leg. It's important that they're not reaching out and catching out in front because now they're actually watching the ball and they're playing or catching the ball under the eyes. And I would throw maybe 12 balls at them, two overs, get them to catch and mix it up on, on side, off side straight, and then give them the bat. Same with throw the tennis ball again. Don't don't throw a hard ball, just throw a tennis ball and you don't have to be a full length pitch 10, 15 meters or, 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 or paces from them and then get them to hit and just see where they're making contact. If they're still making contact right out in front of them, go back to throwing the ball and get them to catch it. It'll just bring them back to making or catching the ball under their eyes. And then when you come when they come to hitting it, just say to them, hey, just imagine you're catching the ball with the bat except you're hitting it and you want to do it under your eyes next to your Next to your leg. So let me just give you. So just, just sorry to, sorry. to, to no, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Just to remind you, obviously, if you've just joined us, we're just answering a question on timing um, the ball um, that a couple of people have sent in, sent in messages about. Okay, um, so, so, so they're going to stand ready. You're going to stand ahead of them and you're going to throw the ball. You want them to leave with their head, step to the ball, okay? And then they want it, you want them to catch the ball next to their front leg, okay? Not out in front. So from the side, they, they hear. Heads over the ball and they're catching the ball next to the leg. You don't want them catching it out there. Because obviously if they're catching it there, that's where they're going to be hitting the ball. So you're trying to get them to play the ball under their eyes, under their head, and then their weight is in the shot. And you mix it up. So on side, straight, full side. 
Very, very simple game. And you can do that for ages. You can, the great thing about that is that you can do that inside. You can do it in the bedroom. Even if you don't have 50 meters, you can do it in a you know five, five meter space. Just lob that ball and, and get them to catch it. But the important thing is where they're actually catching the ball. Okay. Great little game. So just, just to, you know, obviously, it's a it's a game. It's helping with timing. How does that actually help with the timing? Is that just because you're getting them to to catch it under their eyes and in line with their legs, so they're not rushing their shots and hitting it to correct. Exactly. So, is that right? so the timing the timing comes from where where you're making contact and and the and the weight distribution. And you want to be doing that under your head, under your eyes, where your weight is still going forward in the shot, and you're not making contact when your hands are now extended, because you now. You're now losing momentum in your in your in your shot, and by the time your hands are away from your body, you're starting to lose your shape, and often you're going, you know, around the ball. So when yeah. you're playing it, everything's nice and straight, and it will definitely help with your timing, all your weights in the shot. So okay, cool. yeah. very nice.